Okay, good evening and uh, welcome everyone into this uh, live webinar on the total labor. Opening of this uh, webinar. This webinar is basically on the total labor. So, this webinar we have especially designed basically for uh, the Ketuval Shahar joined from by welcome you Ketuval into this uh, webinar. Rajesh Patel from Noida. Welcome you here in this uh, live webinar on the total report, the current issues, especially where uh, the organization are in trouble with getting the right candidate. It is the one strategy, but secondly, how to retain those people. So for that, you essentially required something so that you can keep your employee motivated. They can be for longer period of time into your organization. So here, Praveen Posley from Bangalore, welcome you into this live webinar on the total report. Dharmendra Mishra from Fridabad and uh, Rajesh Patel, I have all. We are especially discussing the important issues. It does not mean only the issues. So I am sharing with you some strategies because this webinar we are conducted, especially uh, basically connecting with the HR uh, fraternity to developing a community of the good learning for the who are the newcomers, the uh, new aspirant coming into the HR field, as well as there are the many uh, practices done by the organization so that we can together connect that all that and create one type of the platform where everyone, every participant or in the community, they can uh, learn the practices from the different organization and have a great industry relation, associate relation and the great engagement of their employee into the organization this is the objective of this uh, webinar today so then it comes so here now i can see the 10 number of participants here also so far and uh, so let me now share with you the screen it is now the 9 3 so this is just for the one hour of uh, webinar and uh, in this one hour webinar we are going to discuss totally about the issues then how you can sort out those issues into your organization Many of you are well known in the maybe many senior into the HR field, so you may well know that. But some strategies which I am bringing it here to you that I have been learned with our experts also because we have a team of the good experts who are the veterans from the industries. So I'm also going to share with many of people which I can see that uh, the they have already connected with us as an NGR community. So you may also well aware about us who we are as an SBR HR Learning Academy. So that I'm also going to show little bit share about it also but furthermore main focus would be on the the learning on the total report its impact its necessity in the today boards now as well as how you can create an impactful total report for your organization this is one of the key objective of this today's discussion however at the end you may have many questions too you may have some uh, insight also you can share that too so that we can again conclude the right kind of learning from this one hour of discussion uh, so now here i'm going to share with you the screen so let's the agenda what we have been kept for the this today webinar so that the presentation here and just uh, before going to start into the uh, this total reward webinar today, this is we have started one series of the webinar and learning for the HR community and fraternity so that we can uh, collaboratively bring together some insights and learning for the HR people to have some uh, idea how you can have uh, best practices into your organization. My name is Beer, and many of you may also known to me but however i am the uh, promoter of svr hr learning academy and i have been with the, the svr learning academy when it has been started in 2020 initially but originally it has been started in the 2021 uh, maybe in last next month we are going to complete the two years as in the svr hr learning academy but prior to this uh, we uh, also are today so now, as you see, this is our, the, we have started this series in, in the, uh, my month, uh, June month only. So uh, previously we had one uh, webinar in the post, but however, this total reward was earlier scheduled for the June, I think 20th or 21st, but due to some reason we do not have con uh, that conducted there. So it is the second uh, webinar into this uh, series where we are cl collaborating, connecting with the HR fraternity to having a great insight, uh, insights and learning related on the 
SR, the data, the HR, especially HR, IR, and the compliances, but we are covering many, which are the critical issue for the organization. So now it comes to a bit of what we are covering here. So some insight I'm going to share with you some best practices of what we have been known with practices with uh, our experts also, because we are not just into the trainings or here we are having all this webinar just for saving the insight. We have also some courses available. Then we are providing the corporate services and solutions too. In that case, we have also many of the other resources which we provided to the corporate to helping them in the multiple uh, uh, portions. So what are those? I'm going to little bit share with that because we have only one hour. So I don't want to share much of on the what we are, what who we are. So we will share with you our site inside the information so that you can check out it there. So in the A, when we come up uh, the discussion of the two day session, so that is going to be introducing introducing you with the total report. However, all of you may be well aware about the total report, but there are the many organizations they have their concept and different their strategy are different for the total report accordingly that we have been clubbed together from the uh, good companies, middle level company, even though we do not have the basic company, but it is for the uh, uh, top level uh, manage, uh, the MNCs and then in the great Indian organizations. So the big organization, we have been collected the information, what types of the total reward system they have, how they concluded, how they uh, put that on the document and then after how they implement that in the organization, we have been uh, collaborated and connected, uh, collected that information so that we can share with you and you can get the insights from these uh, uh, reward introduction. And then nextly, there are the many fundamentals, how effectively you can implement and be impactful total reward system into your organization. So there are the some fundamental which you as in the HR leader required to be put into action so that it can be your total reward strategy could be successful. Then third one, there is some building block, especially how you have to move ahead, how you have to concretely build or develop the total reward system for your organization. So some building blocks, the real insight, I'm going to share it with you, how you can move ahead with it. And then fourth one, that is especially when you are developing as an HR, you well know about. And uh, when you are developing any strategy and anything into your organization, because as an HR, you are the custodian of the human resources in the organization, which is one of the most important asset for the organization. Without your asset, without your human resources, your business can't move ahead. So that's why if we are talking about anything you have into your organization rather than your business product and services, so that are your strategies, which bringing your potential talent into number one, attracting them into organization, then retaining them further with the development recognition. So all together coming with the picture of the total report, what you can add into either it may be your compensation you are paying in the uh, first hand, but rather than the compensation are there, what are the other, uh, the other things, or it may be some rewards or recognitions you may add into your reward system, your to the total reward system. Inclusively, we can uh, finalize, define it as a total report. So it is all about the total cost you can put into your organization for retaining in one employee into your organization. So it is a little bit about uh, us, the SVR HR Learning Academy. Many people who has been already uh, the member of our community, so they well known about it. So a little bit, I'm going to share it with you. So it was started as a name of the HR solution in 2015 uh, by the Bipidharan, who is the Indian military retired person and served for the 20 years into the military, then 15 into corporate, and he's now the veteran and he's expert with us to guiding us into uh, to accelerating the HR functionality, then corporate trainings, as well as the licensing services for the corporates. Then, when in the 2019, we have been reinitiated the SVR HR studio into the SVR HR studio uh, for providing the corporate trainings corporate licensing and then added especially the corporate trainings too. Then in 2019 and the 20, when it was the COVID era, so that's why we see that the many people, they have been uh, impacted from the COVID. So that's why we started one institution which is called the Professional AB. Interpretary and professional development issue where we provide the multi level or many types of the services or it is especially the courses where we 
individual who are uh, keen to start their own journey so they can handle there are these are many types of the courses are available on our platform which they can try like that they becoming the freelancer website planning to uh, developing of uh, the uh, technical insights so they can get all those through these so this was the first initiative then in 2021 when it was we have been been with uh, the PDI, the professional and interpretive development, but there was one focus basically the HR field was lacking because we are directly connecting with, with the corporate. So that's why we started the uh, SVR HR Learning Academy, especially focusing on the HR fraternity to bring in all those global knowledge to the HR people in India or even to expand it for the global. Then after however, we have not only started here, we are now also collaborating with the global institution, global organization, so that bringing the best of knowledge of HR to the HR people fraternity to develop their skill and make them ready for the future sustainable career into the HR. So that's why we have also uh, partnered with the, the People Manager. This is the in Indonesia-based magazine for the people. We have been launched this in the November 2022. And now in March 2022, we have been also launched the magazine. So you can check out it. I'm going to share with all the information. Then now we are also in one of the International Academy AIHR partnering with them. And by the end of this year or after October, we will also going to have an Indian-based AIHR Academy, which are bringing the international world for the HR people. Now, it comes to the S, HBR, HR Learning Academy, how we bring the knowledge, enhance your knowledge into the field where you can get multiple insights related to how practically you can develop the multiple strategies into your organization. So where we started, however, many organizations, where I have already worked for four and five organizations so far, and I'm currently working with one of the Japanese organizations, but this is my freelancing as a promoter. So that's why when we started some journey, so here it is considered as the other organization, what are their strategies? They started with from the documentation, either capturing the notes from the, uh, the Google, either they have some connection with the other companies. Then information, they are just documenting it, communicating it with the, their management, getting it documented, but then go to the uh, your, especially the team member to communicate it. But at the end, when they are reaching to the level of within the six months, so they are all that enthusiasm go down. And then after there are no, collaboration, penetration, penetration into their or whatever the project is. So that's why maximum number of the projects are created. So that's why our strategy is to beyond to that, where the organization start to fail, we only focus on there. We are focused especially on the building a strong foundation, not just through the communication, but where you are feeling that you does not, you may have. Okay, my voice is not clear. Is it clear to everyone or otherwise it is only for Nagaraj? Yeah, for me, sir, uh, in fact, I kept the 100% uh, volume. Okay. But as part of that, I'm not able to um, hear completely clearly. So if you can kindly keep the mic closer to your mouth, probably it will help. Hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, but not louder. Okay, thank you. Is it okay now? It's better, sir, now. Okay, okay, thank you. So, what we do? So, it is just for how we bring the HR, especially the learning for the HR people. We focus basically not from the base, like the starting on the documentation. We bring in you together on the platform, how you have to nurture your all stakeholders. Either when you are working on the documentation, before that we provide you the multiple documentation based on the practically we have. We have more than 100 number of the multinational clients now into India whom we are providing the multi-level of the uh, services into either licensing, either trainings, either their developing of organization development also. So in that, we are working on the four phases in every area. So that is, when we are creating a strong foundation, it has been done where we are connecting with all the people together so that you can have a basic fundamental ready where you have to connect with the mind of the people of your organization. Because you as an HR, you are really working not with the human being physically, you are working with the mentally there. So that's why the HR people are called the lawyer, advocate, then coach, mentor, everything. That is the, the, where you have been going through the many, uh, the thought leader, they have been given their thoughts. Now the era has been changed from the personal to HR, HR to something else, something else. It is going to, but basically, when you are focusing the you have to nurture your talent into organization there. You have to be thinking for two things. One, 
your organization, what it demands, what your management, what is your business. So that's why it is number one, you need to focus on your strategy or your management philosophy or the management, your organization. Then you can move ahead with actually what you need to do and how exactly you can get the right result. So we bring it the up till the maturity level. Maturity will become only after when it has been implemented in one time in one year then after maturity come after only one and two years so that's why how the strategy are working for that we only work on same strategy so that you can get a right kind of result from the strategy you have been doing. so now here is one question for you so what do you understand from the total reward you can write in the chat box just one sentence two and three people is okay so that we can move ahead because we have only one hour to conclude this whole discussion today so this is just a question for you what do you understand from the total report as a, uh, in your opinion compensation and reward okay any other participant kindly write what you think and what as per you what is the total report Okay, so as of now, what I can how it is only the uh, one answer. There is another answer which I can holistic and competitive compensation. Yes, this is also okay. So Nagaraj is saying, thank you, Nagaraj and Ulhas. Is there someone else who maybe answered the three answers? So it is okay for me to move ahead. So okay, thank you. No issue. So when we see the Total reward. It is considering a uh, third one answer. I can see employee value proposition. Okay, it is now again the Navaras. So value proposition, yes, value proposition. You can also create if you are rewarding the people from the financially uh, non financially and from other means. But value proposition creating through your culture. But if finance cannot create the culture. And the reward also creating through the motivation, but motivation does not also create the culture to everyone. When we think about the total reward, it is one liner which is connected to your performance evaluation and the management system. However, that is providing you the multiple insights, multiple information related to your strategies that are defined. So when it comes to your uh, the total reward, then you may know also the when you have to create the value proposition of your employees, your compensation, holistic and the a competitive compensation for your organization. So Dale Kanaji said the people work for money because their needs. So you have also gone through the five level needs, the Maslow theory. Then what go to extra? What organization required now? They need the extra mile because when you are expecting the extra mile, do something extra from your employee. So you have to look something to them also which should be motivate them even to the extra also so if you are putting into their bucket or into their efforts 80 percent 90 percent then they can bring you but one time it may be 110 percent but you have to consider it up till 80 to 90 percent not, not more than that. it is all together not for the one employee it is all together if you have the thousand number so it does not mean that all the thousand number they will perform at the eight part they will perform within the range so you have to be identified so that's why when it comes to the dale can as you said the people work for money but go extra mile for the recognition and praises and reward so now it come to when I say or when I said the what is the what you understand from the total reward. So especially the total reward is that which you are considering, which you are combining in part of compensation, benefits, recognition, rewarding, which are received by the employee directly, indirectly, whatever the mean you are providing to them in the form of the bonuses which is included either directly through the wages also even though that are the flexible workplaces you are also providing the flexibility into the action that is also flexibility into the shifts also that is also the reward because that is also somewhere costing to you so now you have to be consider the perspective of the total rewards into the two parts one one you are directly indirectly paying to your employee and secondly 
what as part of managing as part of facilitating what is uh, costing to the organization that is going to be together into your total report so that's why you have to consider it so then it comes to when you see here is one just in re for reference to you when you are considering so someone said that uh, your total reward should be compensation rewards then it comes to the holistic and the competitive uh, compensation you could have so there if you see when we consider as the journaling it is as and the we consider as the total reward so there one we have the one part which is called rctc so that is considering the direct money the direct money which we are putting into the as in direct cost or paying directly to an employer which we have been communicated so that's why there is one term also called the pay transparency what is it pay transparency means it is the what pay you are paying or the organization paying to one person or the second person but there are something you are already paying to them but you are not declaring to them so that's why it is not creating that holistic competitiveness and the value proposition to the employees so that's why when you have been discussed with not only to your just the single the gross totals cost to company which we consider as the altogether ctc but there are the other components also which are indirect or which are just for facilitation which i consider by the right but as an hr when you have to consider all together for the organization it all are costing to them so that's why it is not just in part of like you you are paying the base salary for the position specific then there are the retaining allowances retiral as per the law are also there but beyond to that there are the many components or the facilitation consideration you have to be this is just a reference for you but at the end it will be depend on two and three things you have to be considered we are going to be cover that into the next part so next part that is about your the building blocks about your compensation design number one what is your internal capacity second one you have to be compete into the market so you have also to consider that third one what are the impact going to either the technology either there are the uh, circumstances changes globally some threats are coming in so these three things you need to be considered while you are designing a compensation system however it may be the money the organization is putting for an individual there are also one performance management system which is called the where you are evaluating the employee performance based on the cost generated by per individual in the case when you are coming with generating the revenue by per employee so in that in the same context you need also to consider what is the expenses the organization is incurring for the every individual what are their performance because you have been hired someone they are into your organization so in that case your organization is incurring the money to the organization so that's why these are these uh, some factors you need to be considered while you are designing a compensation system for your organization which could be into the direct and indirect way you are being done. so when it comes to your total reports so you can divide them into the five different components what are those number one it could be considered your direct pay then there are your benefits instead of your pay which is known as the ctc you are paying directly to them which is the direct money you are putting into the pocket of your employee and then there are the other benefits so which are especially when you are having so many organization you have the benefits are like insurance discount uh, discount coupon e soaps then there are the other benefits like leave engagement paid off f which there are some uh, the programs you have for the facilitation engaging people the value uh, proposition creation also then there are some kickoffs program you have also initiated then overseas training so these all together are the uh, your benefits furthermore uh, the, it's included into the total reward then you're learning and developing because that is also the part of where you are putting the money for the employee either the employee who has been um, get the training then after he may be leave your organization but furthermore what are the roi you get on so that's why all together you need when you are designing a total reward strategy you need to be consider all those so that's why when it is coming to as the uh, where the leader hr leader when you are thinking the total uh your organization competitive competitiveness as well as your organization development where you have to focus all these five criteria into one your strategy so that you can define everything what an individual employee 
you are hiring how much cost they may incur for you or your organization so that you can finally get the actual value based on your overall cost for the workforce. Then it comes to when you have the, these five components you may have, you can divide them in number one directly your compensation, where there will be the two types of the pay. Either one is your the CTC, which is considered as the fixed one. Second one, there is some variables also, because you are directly paying them into the cost part which directly going into the pocket of your employer. That is your compensation. Then are the benefits, as I mentioned. So there are the uh, different packages. You may have the physical, emotional, the family safety. So there are the multiple types of the uh, benefits you are providing. Either it is maybe the health related, then many organizations provide the health insurance, medical card, annual health checkup, dental, vision plans, then leave plans also. So that is all are the benefits. So that they can also rejuvenate themselves, your employee. Then third one, now the well-being. Benefits are especially providing the additional. Now the well-being inside the organization, how you are assuring their well-being. So that is also because for the organization that is incurring the money. So that's why you have to be, uh, put it into a, the, your organizational total reward system or your total reward strategy. These are some examples I'm going to share. Uh, I'm here sharing with you so that you can understand it based on your organization, what are total you have, so that you can divide them into these five components. What is especially for the well-being? Based on that, you can create and serve for the internal and external service so that you can bring ultimately the final strategy of your total rewarding to organization. Then it comes to the well-being you have been done. Where you are recognizing the holistic well-being of the year, they are satisfied, they are healthy, they are motivated. So for that, it is based on the different survey, either your ESS employee satisfaction survey, you have the associate relations service you have, then your well-being service you have. So you can categorize it according to your organization situation. But you have to be study your organization situation, internal situation. But not as in the, you are getting the documents, what that organization, what the, another way, your competitor, what they have. No, it is about your internal assessment how you are doing it what you have to do how you have to collect different information that is the basically how you can understand assess totally your organization then there are the recognition there can be the multiple program of the recognition it is not the financial rewarding there are the multiple either the manager to peers peers to peer recognition may be there however that are when we uh, talk it about the total reward but when there are the money incurred you can include it but there are the others also where there are the time sparing of the time that are also some rewards to organization because your organization individual time are fixed because shifts are fixed so that's fine you can keep the recognition if those that are not monetary where you are not expending but you have providing some time off inside your organization so that is also the well-being or the recognition to them for their well-being or either the recognizing and finally the developing skill development their leadership development different types of the uh, skill level uh, uh, developments are also there for the self-actualization of the employee and then even though giving them something based on their uh, required knowledge into the organization for especially improving the talent strength of your organization so that's why there are also the term called the talent quality so that will also enhancing, improving your talent through when you are auditing your talent. So you can also add that into your, uh, the total reward strategy too. So that's why you may get a, a right kind of strategy and a system for your organization. When you are including that your strategy, you may have the five kind of the phases uh, for the component of the total reward. Altogether, you can divide them into multiple, but how you have to design the strategy now? So number one, as I mentioned that you have to first go to assess your organization actually. So that's why many organizations, we have practically seen. So I was working for one of the Indian uh, top organization. So what happened? There we hired one of the senior manager, the CPO uh, from GE, General Engineering. What happened? He just happens to go into the organization, does not consider it. So from the system of GE, he just implemented so many people has been got fired. Many people has been uh, the, uh, demotivated, the, demo, demoted. So what happens within two years, the organization, the progress, what was the monthly or the annual revenue that was decreased. The quality was uh, not improved, that was disimproved. So that's why after two years, that CEO, the CPO was moved out by the organization. So that's why when you are considering or uh, mostly the organization, what do they focus on the cost 
improvement into the organization. So in that case, we need to focus most on your internal situations when you are applying any strategy into that. Either that may be your total reward, that may be your because the total reward considering your all your organization situation, which you can divide into the five components, which I have been shared with you. One is your direct component uh, compensation. Second, that is about your the benefits, benefits, recognition, and development. These are the five elements you have to be considered. Why, why this is required? When you are focusing into your strategy about the, uh, the components so or and the total reward strategy, when you are bringing it together and also making it transparent to everyone whom you are engaging, so it will help you into the five different perspectives to really creating the value proposition into your organization so that it is attracting your top talent. Then it is also having a satisfaction environment into the AA organization. When it is high, then it will also improve your employee engagement level. When the employee engagement level is improved and the, every employee, they feel satisfied. So no one will leave your organization. So that's why the practically the, uh, we bring some uh, the practical knowledge into our program. So that are from the organization where there are only below than 1% turnover in the year, where there are more than 5,000 5, number of employees. Then it is creating your competitiveness and improve your business performance. However, when we consider the, the five types of the component you may have, when we consider all together as in the compensation, so then we have the multiple of which I have been already shared with you when you are defining it, where either you may have the wages also when we consider the first part, the general cost to the company which is known as the uh, cost to company, but beyond it, that many organizations they does not consider about what they that is just a facilitation and benefit to them, but not recognizable. So that's why your total reward strategy is going to help you to provide you the multiple insights as well as the strategy uh, feedback, where and how you have to be get into uh, the finally fine tune or retain your talent into the organization. When you are designing and compensation structure, so what you have to do, how it should be look like and how you have to move with these strategies. So that's why when it comes, number one, the compensation structure you are doing, you are putting it into the two parts. One is your direct, which you are paying to directly to your employees. Second, it comes to the benefits. These are the part of which is called the total uh, the cross CTC, cost to company to organization, where it is some of the base pay you have, merit pay. You can divide it into multiple components, but altogether you have to define it into two parts. Number one, it is your base pay as the position. Second, it is about the retaining allowances. Third one, the retirees too. When it comes to your allowances, so either you can have some uh, the flexible pay also, you can have some uh, the incentive parts also. There. So that is all together, which are the direct cost you are putting into the, into the pocket of your employee. So that is one part of your uh, the compensation come together. Then second, it comes now the benefits. What are the example of the benefits into total reward you can keep in? So there may be some uh, provided the company facilities, facilitation, like the riding also were provided. There, I was working for one of the organization where uh, we were providing up till uh, the deputy manager able to overtime. So if you are working more than 15 minutes or more than 30 minutes in a day, so you are getting the overtime. So then secondly, uh, uh, after the manager level, there was providing the vehicle and car to them. Below to manager level, everyone, if anyone is coming through their own vehicle, so that will be reimbursed to them. So that are also the benefits provided so that people can feel that was one of the uh, benefits provided by the organization, even reward or any no organization provided into the uh, whole India. So when our expert uh, into our the programs, so they also provide the same type of the insight and mentoring to our uh, learner into these programs. Then there are some vacations that you are providing. So that is also the many organization in the recent, uh, then in, like in June month. So there are some vacations and the for maintenance, they have been closed the organization or their unit organization for the one week. So that is also the more vacations you are providing. Then the bonuses scheme separately you have. Then there you have some facility like the sports facility. Then there are some the marriage function you are either putting the advance also, otherwise for the marriage and some education, you have the special uh, benefits program to them or when someone has been graduated or either their own efforts you have some reward system to them but here we are talking about the uh, only the benefits then there are the form of his budgeting you have also some internet allow internet allowance that the allowances you have company phone subscription that is generally provided but 
what are beyond to that many organizations that are provided that are mostly creating the compact into your organization then the parent leave however really into the organization it has but you can also consider it then separately the pension plan eps it is not really a statutory but separately you may have the pension plans so there was the organization there was separately the superannuation where uh, however that was a part of the compensation but when someone has been retired so there the annually there are around 40%, whatever if I have been until 50%, there was the pension is coming. So that is uh, around that. As of now, I was working in the organized high work for the 10 years. So every year I'm getting more than one lakh rupees insurance and that the pension, even though I'm not retired in the age of retire, but that are the benefits provided by the organization to their employee to create the impact and especially creating the value proposition into the organization. When? your recognition, compensation, and reward system are good. But furthermore, you have the benefits in the compensation. When you are planning or defining it, especially recognizing your employee, there you have something, or you have an effective recognition system, which is finally coming as the reward. You are rewarding for their, what has been they have, and the employee has been done. So that system is providing you the nine times more engagement into your organization. 30 time more great work experience and result and the eight time more thriving culture. So that at the end, as the, someone has been said that the uh, holistic and the competitive, furthermore, the, the value proposition of the employee. So it is through your recognition. Either you are not, you are paying less, but their efforts, you are recognizing them, even though many organizations, they are being huge. But after that, the efforts are not recognized. The reward system are not broken. It is not motivating to the employee. So that's why there are the, even you are paying too much, but employee are not satisfied. They are moving. So that's why it is the issue of the retention for you. Then it comes to the, so recognition, what types of the recognition you may have? You may have the many, like the sport awards, the monthly awards, team award, manager award. They are generally there about you. But it is creating, not just the, having some financially award and the, they go to them, but furthermore, there should be something which can recognize the um, uh, individuals, their efforts, and furthermore, it is also it is about you when you have been effective reward system and the recognition system. It is improving your engagement of employees nine times. X means nine times more. 30 times more great work or the productivity, improvement in your quality work, 13 times more. It is generally when it has been done for the service, done with the uh, multinational organization, globally, whom they have the uh, recognition, the reward system, which I have been said that where it is provided, the people are more than uh, able to the manager, below to them convince reimbursement, then other rewards and recognition are there. So they are. Excellence into the work that is 13 times more than the usual organization they have, as well as the thriving the culture. Someone has been asked when I ask the question, the uh, value proposition. So value proposition, you can create only when you have the, uh, the total reward system all together combined it, you have to communicate when you are thriving it with your individual employees. So how you are doing? So that's why in the beginning, I have been shared with you one four pillar strategy. So what is this strategy here? I have been shared with you. This strategy is telling about we does not start with just the other organization documentation, then just um, through mailer and one uh, you have the town hall, then after implementing and one in period. We just started with other organization. Keep it just surrendering or keep it as a success. We start with this from there. So that's why at the end, these are the real time result, real kind result we have been vetted based on the global surveys. So nine times more engagement when you have been an effective reward system for your organization. 13 times more great work as well as the thriving culture, really creating the value proposition for your organization. So here are some example of the recognition, what you can, there are the learning and development rewards, innovation, if has, someone has been done, innovation. So that is also rewarded. Then there are the service award. So it is generally happening to the organization for the five years services has been rewarded. Then the milestone, something has been achieved. So milestone rewards are there. When you are creating, so finally, these are the three components we consider into the compensation benefits and the total reward. Then when you are designing the strategy for your uh, the organization as a total reward, how it is going to impact you? 
how it is uh, you have to be initiated. What is the evaluation when ev uh, evolution of the total work come into it? Number one, it is bringing you together where it creating the influence. So influence how is creating? So it is about the, however, before uh, 1995 or 2000. So there was very rare transition into the employer. But after 2000, when there was a global or uh, impact, the global globalization of the businesses has happened. So there are the many organizations, they are paying huge. But now attracting the more talent than organization considering to pay by huge. But later on, it become a, also an issue for the organization. If many organizations whose capacity are not paying too much more. So then after their talent, it comes rightly this the transition of the workforce employee talent also, but they are failing to retain it. So that's why even you are paying more, but furthermore, how you have to penetrate it within organization to make it as a, you are also paying to them, they should also be happy. So it will be depend on your all the total reward study. So that's why it is considering, there are the two things you need to be considering. Number one, it is through your internal, what is your organization capacity you have? And secondly, it is about the impact of the external. Either it is your the regulation. However, we does not have that the uh, overseas social norm or the uh, the labor uh, the regulations. We does not have who are promoting the multi level of the scale to do the employees. But here there are the competitiveness also. So that's why what is your competitor? What are the similar organization into the market they are doing so that you can retain the your talent into your organization. So that's why it is also which are going to influence your total reward study. When it is you have been defined. So there are the internally, there are the many factors you have to consider, which is not called as the internal equity, external equity, then your compensation package. So that are driving, I'm going to share with you. When you have been defined the influence, why the people are leaving to you and where they are joining, that is providing you the influence inside what you have the issue. The culture, inclusiveness, leadership issue you have, then external, where your employee are going to join. What is impacting their social, uh, the standard social lifestyle, their lifestyle? Then the regulation you have also, the labor market. Labor market is in the, uh, the you have the demand and supply transition of the workforces. Then it will define your the all these five strategies we have been discussed. So your compensation, well-being, benefits, and the development and the recognition. Finally, when you have been the great or ideal total reward strategy so that it will bring you the business performance and employee experience excellency so which i have been shared here so that is nine time more engagement you are assuring 13 time more great experience and eight time more your culture right so when you have been designed so when you are going through uh, with your total reward strategies which i have been shared with these are the your evolution when it comes to how you have to move. Ultimately, objective is you do business performance and employee experience. And where it is creating through your internal and external influence, what exactly is influencing the transition of the employee into your organization that you are doing. So that's why I have been said, however, you are capturing it generally from somewhere, example from Google, but it does not work for you. You have to be assess your organization impact how you can be so what are the issues you have inside either we it is a part of the strategy but your culture how it is it is toxic it is cooperative it is dominated what is the culture you have inside organization how the people you have creating the inclusiveness into your uh, the culture then what are your leadership what they are doing are they impactful really or are they just the forcing of their subordinate to get the result done are they are providing some learning opportunity? How cooperative are they? They with their peers, their subordinates, so that ultimately you can get the right kind of knowledge. Now, second thing, the external, how you can get that is about the where your new employee are going to. It does not be if the employee has been leave, so you does not have to you have to totally disconnect to them. No, you have to be create the more. It is now the demand of the uh, the new world of work that you have to create the connectivity. Either anyone who has believed, so that will provide you the two solutions. One, what is the other organization, what the system they have, you can also know to them. And second one, it is also getting you why they have made in the organization. That individual does not tell you what is the issue they have. But after that, if you have the close relation with them, the humanistic relation, so they will tell you why they have been made. 
because out of your nine to five job, you are the human beings, you are a social beings. So that impact you can create as an HR. But now when you are designing a compensation sector, so you need to work on the five fundamentals, or this is also called your day building blocks. So number one, you need to understand about what are the real the jobs inside you have. Many organizations, uh, they have basically the designation of function-based organizers, where the organization, if the manager or if the executor, two position, but in the same organization, they are doing the same jobs. So it means your job management are not in the right. So that is the first strategy, which it is failing into your organization, either your culture, either your value proposition, that is going to be failed to then second one, it is working on your salary data and the market price. Inside, ideally your uh, workforce cost should be 10% of your total revenue. And most if you are the high revenue, the big organization, and then it may go up to 13%, but it is considered 10%. Then accordingly, your competitive, uh, the competitor, what is their market pricing? What they are? So you have to keep the track of that data too. Based on you can finally find to in your pay structure. In the pay structure, there may be the two and three types of the pay. One, you have the fixed pay to them. But furthermore, there you have the variable pay, what you have to consider. That is also the ideal part of your compensation, the total reward study. And finally, the com complex compensation also. Good. Complex means where you are facing the difficulty and trouble, give some leverage to the employee. Not financially, but for the benefits and the uh, recognition. So that's why they can get best of uh, learning as well as the best of understanding about the organization what is expected and what is they are what they are getting based on the you are comparing it internally as well as into the market faces now going moving with the how you can design these five level of the building block of your uh, the compensation strategy so here what we serve as in the HR, as we are learning the academy, we are into especially providing the solution for HR people to enhancing your learning into the three different segments. One is the free webinar, which today we are also conducting. Then there are the, some boot camps. We also providing the trainings, which are the short term courses, the practical intensive learning for three, three and three and four hours, which is considering especially focusing on the real is a real basis, which you are having facing into the organization. Third one, we have the premium and the standard level courses for uh, the HR professional. So what types of these courses we are providing? How would we are considering the free webinars into the Wednesday and Saturday? So it will be alternate week. One week it may be on the Wednesday or one week it will be Saturday. So there are the categorization need about the nine webinars we are conducting into the series as well. But it will be also going beyond to that. Then second, it is about the boot camps also. So we have, as I mentioned, the three parts of the boot camp: intensive learning, practical learning related to the current issues. As of now, we have been scheduled for the July month for uh, the boot camps that are basically EPFO. We are conducting online. Then the uh, labor law compliances we are conducting on I think 16. Motherhood compliances on 25th and 30th. Attractive way structure design based on the regulation we are conducting it. So then third one, it comes to the now, the different types of the courses we are offering. As of now, we have more than 20 number of courses. You can see our academy. So however, I will share the information with you. So there are the strategic program for the HR leaders, especially there are the 10 number of the strategic global program. Then there are the IRS HR related labor, then the labor law specialist and certified post practitioner. We are then there are the short term program, short short courses, especially focusing on the a specific issue of the organization. We have these courses more about the seven or eight time courses. And in that, we are also having some more courses where we are providing the individual courses, which are cost from 299 to 799. Then here we have also the combo into all category, which are offering the 50 to 60 percent. And even though we are also now added with the uh, complete or total access to the academy within the 80% of So when it comes now the total reward strategy, how you can design it. But before that, I want to share it with you about us, our websites, what I did not have been shared with you. So just for a while, I'm going to share so that you can check it out. 
So here I'm sharing with you the four links where you can check about us, who we are and what we do. So these are the links you can copy it and you can go through all this four links about our website, then the academy. We have also the one magazine you can also check that is helping you into the five different vertical into the HR. So here is now, when you are designing your compensation strategy, so how do you have to move ahead? What should be your action? How you are applying the strategies which I have been said? So we have to start with number one, your job management. So for that, you required number one, the what the jobs people are doing. So either you have just one, the job description preparing for the recruitment, but furthermore, when you are going to valuation, your organization for designing of the compensation structure, the strategies, compensation design for your organization, you have to go with review your jobs, but really the job organization need or the people are performing. Then you have to evaluate in within your organization job to job. One job, and then you have to categorize it into the different. Then you have to gather some the data related to the external data of your survey your conducting into the competitors and your customers also. Based on you can define it finally your pay structure. When you have been defined it, then you have to go with it the administrative individual pay adjustment, and finally you have to remove it. This is look like a very simple thing and how you can do it, but it is very, very important and where you have to focus on the multi-level working. So what are those? Here I'm sharing with you. So when you are going to design your compensation program, number one, you have to categorize your jobs. What really are they? There it is considering about some compensation factor, how you can categorize your job here, the evaluation, how you are going to evaluate. Here is something simple where you can put some compensable factor based on the degree means where the level you have to add it, how much levels, either that may be especially uh, you have the band based system, you have the box based system. What is this? I'm going to tell it. So here you can have the compensable factor that are compensating into the role to role. Like you have the executive, you have the senior executive. This, this is the compensable factor which are working on your defining the job to job evaluation. So at the end, when the job evaluation you have done with the point system, you can divide it accordingly within the label one. Either it may be starting from the 5, 10, 20, 50. So it will be depend on what is the weightage of the job into your organization. So accordingly, when you are totaling up it to, into the, what are the total number? So basically it is defining finally, you uh, must have the point of your jobs evaluated within each jobs. When you have been defined, your jobs are there. The next point, it is coming with where you have to define. With the jobs, you will be reached finally. So what should be this finally, you may have the minimum and maximum into those. Ones. Then you have to consider the second one where you have to define the midpoint. Means where you have been especially, what should be into the particular job, the particular degree, the minimum, we are providing especially the level of work that is like the learning should have the partially they are meeting with the job and the responsibilities they have. So accordingly, you can define the midpoint. Similarly, when you are defining it, the minimum midpoint and average, but when you are designing a compensation factor, so that will be considered based on the midpoint. Midpoint is what the market value as well as your internal impactful compensation compensable factors. It will define your Finally, where you can have a final pay point for your organization. It is only into the compensation, but similarly, you have to be work on the recognition and rewards and benefit power. But before that, I'm here going to share with you that the, what are, as I mentioned, the designing of your compensation and the benefit system. So there you can work on the Two system. One is your band system, you may well aware. Second is the box system. However, the box system rarely used by the organization in India, but in abroad, it is also 10 to 50 number of the percent organization are using it. What is it? So it is especially when you are defining your whole organization into the four band. And in those band, you can divide based on their working goals. But inside, there may be you have the multiple labels, which are called as the uh, level one, level two, level three. And in that level, grade one, grade two, grade three, it will depend on how big is your hierarchy. So that this compensation is also helping you into maintaining your organization structure. Second one, that is the box system. So box system is what? 
box system is here uh, that are going to help based on the market ratio, the market pricing, as well as the market composition standard. So whatever the current status out of in comparison of your market, either it is below to the market level or above to the market level. So that is now your midpoint coming from this way. So that it is similarly defining your midpoint also so that you can reach into the competitive compensation package for your organization, which also can based on the internal influences as well as the external competitiveness. So these are the two systems we also are expert also sharing with the R programs. We have the certified ready total reward program also, which are the two months of program. So in this two months of program, we are the a new batch uh, initiating from uh, I think the Monday 10th of the July. So there we only focus on these two systems. We are designing from all your concepts, from how to design your organization based on these five factors, the job management, the salary data and market pricing, pay structure, variable pay, and the complex compensation. Before that, how you are designing the multiple organization and the system for your organization that we are covering. So here, we are also offering some of uh, the offers into uh, this program. However, the uh, certified total reward rating that cost is for the 5197. But as in the live program, we offer it to the 3197, the combo that is around 15,000 piece. As in combo, 5,500, uh, 5, 97 we are offering. But as of the uh, live uh, session, we offer it as a 5,000. And then uh, access to the full academy, it is offering as the 1197. But for the live, we are offering it 999. And then the boot camp, there are the four boot camps which are scheduled for the July month. So that cost is a 1797. But in the combo, you can get them just for the 799. So you can also check out the different courses I am sharing here with you. What is into the combo? So all these four combos I'm going to share with you here. So you can copy it here and then just know about it. What are these courses? And so these are the four combos. One is the total reward number one. Then the uh, boot camp we are conducting SHRM combo and the combo. Then third one. So now here I'm sharing with you the offer pricing. This is for the live or only for this live. So where you have been joined, if you are interested into it, so you can go with it. So this will be prices or otherwise, if you are liking to go after the live program or with this, uh, this link of this live session, so it will be close to this one only. So when it comes to that, how you can pay and how much you can pay possibly. So these links, however, this certificate program, we are also into the good format. One is the live. It will be for the two months into the eight or nine weekly session with our mentor and the experts. Then, if you are not going into the lives, so there you can go for the self paced learning. So, that self paced learning only those live sessions which has been conducted for the live uh, participants. So, the same uh, recording for the video you can get in for the cost of 1697. So, here I'm also going to share these links with you so that you can check it out. And further, we are, I'm going to share with you some insightful information and the what types of the resources you can use for designing your compensation your total reward system for your organization. So here are the different payment scenes. So you can check out it, you can make it here if you want to go with it. And now, then it comes about the, when you are designing your total reward or the compensation. Number one, it is required. When we are, you are dividing your total strategy into the three parts of your total reward. Number one, you have to define the compensation which directly you are paying. Second, it is coming about your benefits. Third one is your recognition and the reward. So when you are designing here the compensation only, where you have been defined the midpoint based on these two systems. So this is the base of all these systems you are designing. So this is just a reference, but all those perfectly and effectively with the, the mentorship, it will be shared by the, if you are interested into the going for the next program. So it will be shared by our expert. 
So when it is defining, so you can share the min and maximum at each level. So what it means, it is according to the min and maximum for the market center or either as per your, uh, especially the band system. Then after there have you have to define different criteria based on reaching to your uh, compensable factor. So there you can utilize the target percentile also, where you can put what is your, either you are putting into the market ratio or you are going to the below to that and maximum to that. It will be depend on when you are assessing your internal influencer as well as the external influencer. How you can do that? It you can do through, uh, especially when you are going to the internal assessment. So do, I have something I have been shared with you, but if you're going to practical learn, you can go into our checkout programs. Then further, it is about the survey. Salary survey it is also consider that the competitor into the market, what is happening. However, there are some reports are from coming every year. What are the trends is happening? But when you are designing specially for your organization, the compensation strategy, your total rewards, you have to go with a proper system, a proper way to designing or impactful gathering the data about your uh, the compensation you are putting. Then it is going to, number one, you can consider as a target percentile, what you are looking for the market. Either you are considering for the uh, one uh, up to 20% of the market or it should be in between of them. So that's why it is called as the target percentile. Which you are paying your employee the relative to the market race or either it may be within the range of the market. So accordingly, you have to be defined. Second, it is coming for the midpoint. So midpoint means whatever the midpoint it is coming as per the market. So we are considering based on the midpoint. Because you have to consider what is exactly your capacity of organization. If you are putting here into the maximum, just see, compensation factor you have been done, then you have been defined the midpoint. Now it comes here. This is your market. So competitor many have this one, this one, the three all here the min, maximum, and all the grades are happening. So what you have to consider? You have to consider for your package, the midpoint. So what is the benefit of midpoint? It is the benefit of midpoint, keeping you more competitive and not having more cost for your organization because you are paying your compensation and the total rewards structure. That is especially impacting your financial condition of your organization. So that's why consider it as in the the midpoint or the mid range. So how you have to define your mid range? So it means so there you have to consider the minimum and then define basically what is the percentile you are creating. So that is your market rate. Then you have to add with your percentage you are considering. Means twenty percent you are considering. Then add ten percent your in annual increment, which is considered as the market percentile coming from the top. Then you can reach to the midpoint of your organization what it should be. Accordingly, you can define the minimum. So that's why when uh, the you have the compensation or you are going for uh, some higher some time, so you give the minimum and the maximum. Or otherwise, you say as per the market or maximum in the market. But where you are defining the minimum and the maximum, so that means you are focusing on a mid range. Then third one, it is uh, considering as the minimum range. So where it is considering and how you have to so minimum range you have to be put basically on the midpoint then. 10 plus 2 minus, which the consider you have been considered the 20% you are the percentile you are looking for, then one is additional to the 10%. So it means it is going with minimum of your, you are considering with 40%, 30%, and then 10%, the market ratio you are considering. And finally, it will be give you the total cost. But with it, just in reference, how you have to learn, you have to be come through your the our programs. Then now you are defining the, uh, the maximum range. How you can define the maximum range? Based on the consideration you have to put, number one, it is required your compensable factor. It will be give you ultimately at what position, what degree. Position means degree. So in what degree, what should be your min and maximum, you are defining it based on these three formulas. Then the maximum range. So what it should be. So it is started the minimum, then 10%, 1 plus 40%, and finally, it is going through your maximum into this range. So now it comes to the next question. If it is one position is the min and maximum, but how you are comparing from other position to another position? So it is, you are utilizing the midpoint. So it means in one position, maximum should be 
mid point to the senior position. For example, you just understand it here. When you are going to the next position, what is here? Maximum that should be mid to the next one. And maybe we are at the last stage, just sharing with you some insight. However, this video will be available to you tomorrow, where you can uh, watch it anytime. Or, or it will be available on our LMS, or either we are also live on the YouTube. It will be available for two and three days, and we will be moving down from the YouTube. So then it comes to your range you have been decide, defined, that minimum, maximum, and midpoint you have to be considered. Then you are going for your salary differentiated. Means what are the differentiated you are putting with the higher midpoint minus the lower midpoint and the divided by lower midpoint. Then what should be your salary differential into the one position to other position. So that is defining. You have to consider the percentile. So basically, then the percentile you have been defined. Then you can go it with the min to maximum and maximum to average. So this is all about this uh, the total reward webinar. In this, we have been considered about just finally in the two uh, minutes. I am binding up. And finally, so here are what we have been covered. We have been covered the total reward. What is it exactly? And what you can consider where it is combining with the three fundamentals. So what are those three fundamentals? That is basically your compensation, benefits, and rewards. However, when you are defining it, so it is combining your compensation, benefits, and rewards, which are going to see by the employee into your organization. That is including the direct and indirect finance. And then your bonuses were paying to them and recognizing the reward where finally it is about some cost is incorrect. When you are defining your total reward study, so there you have to focus. You can divide your total reward into the uh, five components or the you know, five components, which is number one, basically the compensation, which is known as the cost to component. Then your benefits, this is also part of your uh, the compensation that hold actually the gross cost to company. Then your well being, where you are putting the employee value proposition. Considering their well-being after the COVID in the new world of work, organization focusing most on the well-being. Then recognition, it is also important to keep motivating when your reward are especially the total reward that is keeping your employee workforce uh, motivated, recognized, so they will be retained or stay with your organization for a longer period of time. Finally, that is about their talent and development. It is important for you where you have also to focus on the developing of your talent. So these are the five the components you can work upon. Then it is going to the building blocks, how you can develop. There you have to work on the five level, where you are defining your, uh, especially the compensation or the total reward. Number one, it should be basically based on your jobs, realistically. What the jobs are accordingly, it should be defined so that you can create a parity into or transparency into your organization. For that, you need to understand and practice about the function based organization for the design. Then your data inside your organization as well as your competitor data. Based on that, you can define your pay structure, which we have been defined into the three parameters mid, uh, then minimum, and the maximum. Finally, having a differential between the range to range so that you have to define the range of percentile. The variable way is also part of uh, the compensation, but it is helping the organization to retain the people. But how you have to design it effectively so that it can create a real impact into the organization, you have to be learned that. So this is all about this uh, total reward bootcamp. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, to join this uh, webinar on the total reward. However, next we will also come there. Yeah, of course. So maybe next meeting we are going to conduct into the Saturday or next Wednesday because alternate week we would have the Saturday or Wednesday these webinars. So you will get the information through to keep connected on the community. So thank you so much everyone for having a participant participation in this uh, total reward webinar. Maybe you have been get some good insights related to the concept of the total reward. 
So as of now, it is not defined because we have been scheduled two days, either Wednesday or Saturday. So it may be possibly either Wednesday or Saturday, because this time it is happening on Wednesday. So next possibly it will be on Saturday only. Good night, everyone.